Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a total solar eclipse just using Photoshop. So today was the day where the total solar eclipse happened and it was, a, it was a great time, but if you weren't able to see it, maybe because of bad weather or you didn't have the right equipment, I'm going to show you how to make one in Photoshop to kind of fake your friends and, and act like you got some really awesome photos. So let's go ahead and open Photoshop and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so here we are in Photoshop and the first thing I'm going to do is actually create a new document. So I'm going to go to File new and I'm just going to choose a high def uh, sort of ratio here so I got a 1920 by 1080 uh, as far as the height and the width I got my orientation set to a landscape my resolution at 300 and my, I'm going to make my background color uh, black I'm going to make sure that's black there so just click on that color picker and choose black and then click create so here we are in Photoshop and the first thing I'm going to do is actually make the circle to represent the, the eclipse here. So I'm going to go over here to the ellipse tool and if you don't see the ellipse tool just click and hold and you'll get another separate menu and you'll be able to choose the ellipse tool right here. And now I'm going to draw out a circle. It's going to be roughly uh, roughly this size. You don't have to be exact. You just got to make sure it's not uh, too large and too small here. So I'm just going to drag that out and center this roughly in the center of the frame here. So roughly around there. And now I'm going to apply my layer style. So I'm going to double click on my ellipse layer and I'm going to go to my outer glow. And the settings I'm going to use for this are uh, normal for the blend mode, opacity of 100, noise 0, color is white, technique is softer, spread is 0, and size can be between 40 and 50. So I'm going to kind of go on the higher side and do around 46, 47, somewhere around there. All right, so next I'm going to do my inner glow. And for those values, I'm going to choose blend mode normal, 100% opacity, noise zero, color white, technique softer, source edge, choke zero, and the size can be roughly between 20 and 30. I'm going to kind of hit in the middle and go to about 24, 25, somewhere around there. And that is all for the layer style. So I'm going to click OK. And now what we need to do is get rid of the color that we chose for the circle here. So the easiest way to do that and keep the layer styles that we applied is to take the fill and just drag that down. So there's the basis of our eclipse there. Now I need to make a new compound layer. And the way I'm going to do that is highlight both of these. And basically what a compound layer is is just combining both of these layers onto one while still keeping these right here. So I'm going to highlight both of these layers. Go to the little menu in the top right of the, the layers panel here. Click there and choose Merge Visible, but before I click it, make sure I hold Alt or Option. Hold Alt or Option, click that, and now I get another layer. So now I'm going to hide this ellipse layer because I don't really need it just yet. So I'm going to hide that there, and I'm going to apply a layer mask to the new compound layer. So I'm going to click the layer mask button down here to apply that layer mask, and I'm going to get a brush. I'm going to get a black brush here, and I'm going to make sure the size is fairly large, so roughly around uh, 500 pixels there. And I'm going to make sure my hardness is down to zero. And now all I'm going to do is just paint away some of the some of the edging here because it looks a little too perfect. So I'm going to click around here and just start clicking a couple clicks here and there to just kind of take away some of these edges here to make them a little perfect. I'm going to make it kind of lopsided. So that's going to help sell the effect. So there we go. So to help sell the effect even more with this, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to keep my white brush here and I'm going to make sure I have a smaller brush so it can be fairly small. You can see here we got roughly around 45 and I'm going to make sure my opacity of my brush is roughly around uh, 50, 50 for the opacity, 50 for the flow, uh, not, nothing too crazy. And all I'm going to do is just kind of paint uh, some little hot spots, just clicking every so often on some areas over here kind of opposite of where I was taking away. I'm adding more on this side. And what it's going to do is kind of mimic the uh, sunspots, the hot spots coming in from that side of the sun, like the sun has kind of just moved a little bit. This doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to make it look like it kind of crosses into this black section here. And you can make as many as you want to and make them as uh, more defined as you want to. And there we go. So now let's make our sun flare. Our sun flare is going to go right over here because that's going to be the sun peeking out from behind the uh, fake moon in the center. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go to edit, fill, and fill it with black. Choose OK. And I'm going to go to filter, render, lens flare. 
I'm going to choose the 105 Prime, and I'm going to make my brightness between 80 and 90. Uh, you can choose whichever one you like, but I'm going to choose kind of on the high end, go 90. I'm going to click OK. So here's our sun flare here. We can kind of move it around, but we need to see where we need to move it. So we need to get rid of all of the black in this layer. And the way we're going to do that is go to the blend mode, and I'll change my blend mode to screen. And that's going to get rid of everything black in the image. Now I can see where I'm moving it. I'm going to move it roughly right around here. Now for my particular image, you might not like it, but for mine, I'm going to make my sun flare a little bit larger, actually. So I'm going to hit Command and Control T to get the transform. And I'm going to make it fairly large to go off of the canvas here, just like that. So our next step is to get rid of all of this other stuff that's around the solar flare here. We don't need all this. We mainly just need this little area right here. So I'm going to make a layer mask, but before I hit the layer mask button, I'm going to hold alt or option on my keyboard and that will invert the layer mask. So now I can get a white brush, get a fairly large white brush, roughly around uh, six to 700 and make sure my hardness is down to zero. And since my opacity is low and my flow is low, I'm just going to click a couple times to bring that back. And I'm just going to keep clicking until I like what I see there and it's coming through pretty nicely. So that is our sun flare peeking through uh, the moon right in the, the center here. So the next thing we need to do is kind of create a haze around the uh, the solar flare here. So we need to kind of create a, a large haze to go around. And the way we're going to do that is make a new layer. And since I have a white brush already and my opacity is low, I'm going to start clicking around just in random places. You can kind of follow how I'm doing it or you can kind of go in your own path here. I'm just going to go to random random clicks. I'm trying to make it very, uh, very random as possible. So roughly around there looks good. Now I'm going to blur this. So I'm going to go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to decide how, how much I want to blur it. It was already sort of blurry because of the opacity and the flow. Uh, so I'm just going to see that's how we got it right there with almost no blur. And I'm just going to blur it out to where it doesn't have any sort of definition whatsoever. So roughly around 10. And I'm going to click OK. And now we need to bring back the black part in the, the moon here. So I'm going to do that by creating a brand new layer here, going up to my brush and make sure my hardness is roughly around uh, 80, roughly around that area. Make sure your brush is almost the same size as the eclipse. And I'm going to click a few times to bring that black center back there. So now we have a really dark moon. Uh, and that's how we're kind of looking at it with the moon blocking the sun behind there. All right, so we are almost done here. And the last thing we're going to do is add a little bit of color to our image. So I'm going to go down to the adjustment layers. And I'm going to go to hue saturation. And I'm going to click the colorize button. Here I can change any kind of color I want to. I'm going to kind of go to obviously a more orange yellow color. I could play with the saturation to make it very, very saturated uh, like that. Bring my brightness down or bring it up, whichever one you want to do. I'm going to kind of go kind of in the middle uh, right there, and there we go. So that is our solar eclipse. we got the moon blocking the sun in the back. we got a little bit of a solar flare back here with the kind of a orange haze. So that is our total solar eclipse made directly in Photoshop. So if you weren't able to get a cool photo on your own, this is one way to uh, kind of mimic the situation and kind of uh, tell your friends you got some really awesome photos. So this has been Jordan from Sleeklands. Thank you for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.